resets for handbrake 1.1.0 i'm gonna talk on handbrake app new version show you how to convert video for youtube show you all presets including new ones for web hey what's up everyone if you are new to my channel it's all about apple news devices systems app reviews tutorials please don't forget to subscribe first of all you have to, to, to go to handbrake website and uh, handbrake.fr i will put the link in the description below and you go and download from this button, third button, download the application. First, when you open the hand, handbrake app, uh, it will show you this window to select the video. This is uh, my last video on my channel, on my YouTube channel. Uh, this video is, came from Final Cut Pro, still not converted. I select this video and open it. Okay. Uh, this version, uh, Handbrake 1.1.0, it came with more presets, you can find it here. This all presets, it, it will help you to select which output you wanna convert your video to. Without uh, you going, uh, like if you go to the details here, for the video and audio and maybe going more advanced, uh you don't know if you know this parameter you can uh, change this parameter manually but i prefer i also use the presets and it's very good that uh, this version the last version already released uh, uh, days before uh, came with more presets especially for me i am selecting like uh, this presets I have uh, for YouTube uh, for full HD six frame per sixty frame per second and HD uh, uh, sixty frame per second. But uh, there is no thirty frame per second. But uh, for example, if you want to export your video, uh, you convert your video to uh, smaller video to ex to upload it to YouTube without lose uh, the quality of the video. Quality of the video. You can select this preset okay I'm gonna select this preset I already selected this preset okay and uh, let's say your video it's not 60 frames per second no problem and this is working for full HD and you have only to go to the videos here and you make maybe you found here frame per second you make it uh, same as source and don't touch any other parameters and if you wanna save this presets as i did here if you check my here you can found my presets i already created uh, full hd 24.5 frame per second or you can name it maybe uh, uh, full hd same frame per second as source name it everything you want uh, next time it will be easy for you to select it uh, for me I change it and I to same as source and also you can do this for uh, let's say you, have, you want to upload in HD not full HD you can select this one and uh, you can select the frame rate also 4k if you don't found the frame rate you only found like here 60 60 frame rate per second uh, you can Next um, as source and save it other pre new presets. Uh, if you want to uh, up to use another presets, which um, it can work, not uh, just for web. This presets for web. Uh, you can find here for devices. You have can uh, you can find here Apple TV, Fire TV. You can find some format for Android, for Apple, for uh, phones, mobile, for Xbox and so many presets here uh, from the smaller one to the uh, big ones like, like this one for the movies if you want to encode encode the video in the best codec which is uh, um, reduce the size of the file so much you can use the uh, these ones and you can select which one you like but for YouTube, as I can use this already exist presets, 
only change the frame rate, frame per second number, as I told you from here. And this uh, application is so nice. I will show you the size after I converted my video. Uh, this video I already selected the uh, presets here, uh, full HD, and I changed the frame rate to same as source. Then I said I browse where I want to save the file here, right here, and choose and click start. I'm gonna start here. You can see the bar, the bar below, it moving here. The bar below is moving, and you can you will use all all resources he can. Uh, maybe your uh, laptop will heating a little because he will use all resources available to increase the speed for uh, converting the file and we will check the file after uh, it will finish converting okay let, let's check the output this is the result and before file and this is the source if you can notice the size for the source is uh, 174 mega byte and uh, after we convert it it became uh, 88 megabyte so much decrease in the size but let's check the quality if we check this and we check the other one okay, let's, let's you cannot notice any any uh, decrease in the quality still almost the same uh, you cannot notice any quality uh, lose or something which is, which is great you can have this file and upload it to your tube in quick way uh, this file size is maybe a little, it's not big but if you have another file which uh, like 600 mega or 300 megabyte it will uh, matter very much Stay tuned for new videos and new tutorials. Please give this video a like if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the link to stay notified. Let me know in the comments if you need any more information on handbrake. Be safe and take care everyone.